Kick.com might be a new platform, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have really cool widgets and overlays and really cool stuff to add to your stream to spice it up, as well as alerts. Because when I started streaming, I was like, what am I gonna use to make all this stuff work? Because not any, I mean, I can't find anything with Kick integration. Well, lucky for you, we've got the solution. Roll that intro and then we're gonna jump into it. I promise, just, just stick around, we're gonna do it. What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna be looking at a lovely website called Botrix. This website is amazing. It lets you do alerts. It lets you do widgets and cool stuff to add to your stream as well as a chat bot, loyalty points, programs, and mini games and stuff. And I'm even gonna have my referral code down below, so go ahead and use that if you don't mind. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, so let's let's just cover how this works. So if you're using OBS, what you wanna do is click this plus and you're gonna add what's called a browser source. And in OBS, it might just be called a browser now, but browser, browser source, this is what you'd call it. Click that, it's gonna ask for a URL. URL is where you want to enter what you're gonna get from Botrix. And we're gonna go back there because we're gonna talk about all of this. To get signed into Botrix to be able to assign kick, there's actually no kick sign in option for Botrix right now. You have to either sign in with um, Discord, YouTube, um, Twitch, or Trovo right now. You actually have to sign in with one of these options. And then once you get signed in, you can go ahead and link your account. It's kind of different, it's weird, it's backwards, but once you've gone ahead and you've signed in and you've linked your kick, um, I'll go ahead and show you. If you say sign in with YouTube and you linked your kick, you have to click on the settings option here to start messing with your kick stuff. Because if not, you're messing with all your YouTube stuff. If you click here, now we're gonna be messing with all the kick stuff. Keep that in mind, you don't wanna forget that. Um, it says it right up here too. We can see that we're messing with the platform kick. So if you wanted to go ahead and set up alerts, I assume you've probably set up alerts before if you've streamed on other sites. If not, essentially all you're gonna do is go through here, set up your alerts however you want. Um, you can even do test. So you can use these tests once you've copied this link. I'm not gonna show you my link. It's not yours, you can't have it, but you can copy it and then take it, paste it here, and then you could hit that test button here and you could test out what your subscriptions, tips, followers, raids, kicks, gift subs, all that stuff looks like for your stream. And it's actually pretty in depth. This looks very, very similar to what Streamlabs has. You can just go through there and customize those. If you wanna adjust separate ones, you can go through and adjust all these as well. Awesome. You now have alerts because this is actually what I use for my alerts. Let's see, let's see. I've got alerts on screen right here. Let's remove this junk that we just added and let's do a test follow. Hey, look at that, Baba Booey. Thanks, thanks Botrix, it's working. Okay, so now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the widgets. So we have widgets for say viewer counters and you can see this is the exact same way. Go ahead, customize this to however you want and then do copy, preview, all that kind of stuff and um, copy it, paste it in. If you click preview, it's actually gonna take you to its own page and it's kind of off screen here, but you can see this is what it would kind of look like and then you can use it in OBS and move it around, put it wherever you want. There you go, pretty easy. So we got that, we've got viewer counters, subathons, goal followers, goal subscribers, goal donations, event labels, chat, emotes on screen, raffles, polls, channel king, and emote combos. All this stuff, which some of these do say coming soon. So some of these aren't necessarily supported and they've actually updated it a lot since I started using it. And it's very easy to use. You can go ahead and pick a label if you wanna get your last follower, you could take it. You can get your last follower and if you wanted it, say, just to have the name, cause you have an icon or something, you could do that. And then you could just have your last follower. Easy to customize. I I don't wanna make this video long or overly complicated. If you guys have any problems with this, let me know. Um, but most of this is straightforward. You figure out what you wanna use, you copy this, uh, this link here, and then you go ahead and paste it in as a browser source. And then it's on your stream. You win, very easy. Um, they also have a chat bot. So you can go ahead and do moderation with the chat bots. You can uh, set up names, I believe, I think they did add the functionality for you to be able to change the bot name in your uh, kick now. I think what you have to do though is you have to have premium 
but or maybe you have to add your own account for the bot. I don't know. I haven't really messed with that. But you can also set up commands, timers. So like some of the timers is, um, you know, ever so many minutes or so many messages, we can roll an ad or we can roll something in the chat that says, hey, blah, blah, blah all this stuff and we can even import. So if you're coming from Twitch and you use Nightbot, you can actually import all your commands, which is cool as well. We have our profile page, which is kind of essentially what we've already had. And you can actually do a donation page. Um, I'm gonna blur that out. You don't need to see that, but um, I've got my donation to where mine's set up to PayPal. So you can go ahead and uh, if you wanna donate, appreciate it. Thanks, bruh. <laughs> awesome. Um, loyalty, you can actually set up loyalty points into a store and records of like giveaways or something, whatever you want to use that for. Um, we've got integrations. So if we wanted to, anytime we go live on kick, actually send a message in your discord server, which is super smart. And you should set up if you have a community discord server set up for your live stream, do that. That is awesome. Um, we can even have mini games and stuff included as well. I don't know if all these are actually in here now. It looks like some of them are. Yeah. I, okay. That one's not available yet. Um, maybe that B duel is the only one. Yeah. This is currently the only one that's available, um, but they keep adding more and more. This is a paid feature. You'll have to pay the $2 and 49 cents a month, but they actually give you other features as well. So there you go. You get more features, custom bot name and all this other cool stuff. So that's nice to know. We can do referrals. So please go ahead and use my referral code. I will put it in the link in the description down below so you can go test out Botrix and try it out for yourself. And it looks like song request might be a feature that's coming, but it's currently not available. I don't know if that's because I'm on kick or any of that other stuff. So yeah, we basically covered the entire program. I know I went over it quick, um, but it, it's really simple. Like I said, you go ahead, you go onto the website, you link your account after you've linked another account. Hopefully they can get sign in support for um, kick at some point in time, which would be really nice. So you don't have to sign in to say YouTube or Twitch or a competing, a competing platform and then say, no, nah, I just, I just want to use kick kind of weird, but essentially do that link the account and then go to town, customize your stuff however you want, and it will look really cool. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. It's kind of short to the point. Here's how you do alerts, and here's how you do widgets for kick.com. You use Botrix, link in the description down below. Go ahead and try it out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. Like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Check out this video right here and subscribe right here because you're awesome and you deserve this. That way you know how to add your chat to your streams. All right, thanks for watching guys.